everyone this is your math guru in this video i'm going to show you how to solve for x in the following exponential equation please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept i have 4 to the power of x plus 2 plus 4 to the power of x minus 1 all divided by 5 on my left hand side equals 13 over 16. to solve for x I'm going to start by taking out the denominator, which is 5. Why? Because I have all my x variable as my numerator on the left. So, to get rid of 5, I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by 5. I have that as 5 over 1. That's an old number. And whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. I have that as times 5 over 1. My equation becomes I have 5 and 5 1 so I'm left with 4 to the power of x plus 2 plus 4 to the power of x minus 1 equals multiplying the fraction on the right 13 times 5 65 over 16 times 1 16 the next step is because I want to find a common factor on my left hand side I'm going to split up my terms not that loss of exponent if i have a variable raised to a power multiplied by a variable which is the same base as the first raised to the another power because the base are the same what i will have is i have the base of a to the power of x plus y so because i have my four to the power of x plus two i'm going to break it down as shown, so I have that as 4 to the power of x times my dot is multiplication, 4 to the power of 2, maintaining the same base, plus 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of negative 1 equals 65 over 16. So now that I've been able to break up the terms on the left, I can see that I have a common factor of 4 to the power of x so taking out the common factor i have 4 to the power of x in bracket i'm left with 4 squared on my left and on my right 4 to the power of negative 1 that's a negative exponent i still have my 65 over 16. if i solve the content of the bracket i have 4 to the power of x in bracket 4 squared, that's 4 times 4, 16, plus an exponent, if I have a base raised to a negative exponent, to make it positive, it becomes a to the power of positive y. The negative becomes your fraction bar. So therefore, I have that as 1 over 4 equals 65 over 16. The next step, I need to solve the fraction in the bracket and that will give me 4 to the power of x multiplying 65 over 4 equals 65 over 16 what I've done in the bracket is if I have 16 over 1 plus 1 over 4 the lowest common denominator LLCD is 4 so that means on my left hand side I'm going to multiply by 4 by 4 and that will give me 64 over 4 plus 1 over 4 and once the denominators are the same I'm going to add the powers 64 plus 1 and place them under the same denominator at 65 over 4 now to isolate my 4 to the power of x I'm going to divide both sides by 65 over 4 so what I'm doing is to take 65 over 4 to the right hand side. So I'm left with 4 to the power of x equals 65 over 16 divided by 65 over 4. That will be times 4 over 65. Let's apply the fraction law. If I have 65 over 16 divided by 
65 over 4. That will be 65 over 16. The division sign changes to multiplication and then you flip the right hand side from 65 over 4 to 4 over 65. Simplifying further, I have 65 divided by 65, that's 1. And then I have 4 in 4, 1, 4 in 16, 4. So therefore, that will be 1 out of 4. And if I write it in exponential form, I have 4 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of negative 1. And once the b's are the same, all I need to do is to equate the powers as shown. So therefore, the value of x equals negative 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.